Hello friends and welcome to this special episode of Mittens the Battle Mage as I go through the plan. Now this plan will turn Mittens from a squeezy little kitty into an absolute fire-wielding beast monster. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of a detour from the main quest line, but I think in order to complete the quest line comfortably we're going to have to do something uh, about the armour and about his uh, spell casting abilities. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go back to Whiterun Stables and we're going to get a lift from there to Markarth, a very old and rich city. Inside Markarth we will find a wizard called Calselmo. Now we need to find him anyway because he's part of the Book of Love quest. Um, but he will give us access to the Dwarven ruins inside Markarth. Inside these ruins there is a full set of Dwarven armour that we could steal but they're guarded by very high level Falma, a type of sort of fallen elves, and they there is no way that Mittens is going to be able to take them out. So instead, we're just going to look around the entrance for any dwarven scrap metal we can find. There is a forge in Markarth, so all those bits of scrap metal we can take to the forge and smelt them into dwarven ingots. Once we've got lots of dwarven ingots, we can go to Gorza's forge. Gorza is a lovely orc. Uh, she's very good at blacksmithing, and she will even train you in blacksmithing if you can pay for it. On the way down to Markarth, I'm going to be making golden necklaces, or I'm going to be making golden ore anyway, uh, and with that we'll be able to get our smithing level up initially by just making golden necklaces. We can sell them to Gorza to get us the rest of the way up to 30 smithing because at 30 smithing you are able to take the perk Dwarven Smithing which allows you to make Dwarven Armour. Now Dwarven Armour can be quite complicated, it needs lots of things to make like these Dwarven Boots, but Dwarven Bows are very easy to make and they're worth quite a lot of money, especially if you enchant them. So we're going to sell them back to her as we make them to recoup any losses um, and then we'll leave Markarth with as many Dwarven Bows as we can get. So we'll go to the stables, uh, and we need to get to Windhelm, but first we need to go via our mini base at Anise's cabin. So we'll go back to Whiterun, off to Anise's cabin, where the standing stones are. We'll select our uh, mage stone for extra enchanting XP gain, disenchant everything we can, enchant as many dwarven bows as we can with any of our soul gems we've already filled, um, because we need some early profit when we get to Windhelm. On the way to Windhelm we'll change our standing stone to speech, get over to Whiterun, speak to the cabbie and get over to Windhelm. Oldest city in Skyrim, as he likes to say. Inside Windhelm we will find a little shop called Sadri's Goods. Now Sadri is a completely wholesome dealer who definitely hasn't bought a stolen ring recently. Ah, yes, he did buy a stolen ring, um, and he's going to get in trouble unless it gets back. So we can do a little favour quest for Sadri. Um, we need to sneak off to Viola's house, and we need to plant this ring. Um, but he didn't steal, he just bought it. We're going to plant it back in her house, so she thinks she just lost it. She's going mad. So we come back to Sadri, he's now our friend, and he's willing to teach us how to speak properly. We need to get to 50 speech, because at 50 speech we can get a perk which allows us to sell anything to anyone in Skyrim. We can even sell enchanted weapons to mages. Very important. After that, I'll pop back to the standing stones, I'll probably use the flying carpet of editing, and then we will get a cab over to Winterhold, where the College of Mages is placed. Inside the college, once we've done a couple of little runaround things in order to enrol, uh, we're going to find several mages there. We're going to find Feralda, Drevis Nelleran, Collet Marentz, Enthir, uh, probably a couple of others. And they will all be selling filled soul gems. And I want to buy the petty, the lesser, or the common filled soul gems, because if I enchant uh, my weapons with one of those soul gems, I will be making a profit when I sell them back. So we'll enchant all of the weapons that we have stored up, 
Um, and we're going to enchant them with the Blessed Enchantment, which is the best one that we can get this early in the game. Uh, the Banish Enchantment is the best, but we don't have access to that until higher levels. Once we've enchanted these with the Soul Gems we bought from the Mages, we'll sell the enchanted weapons back to them in order to buy more Soul Gems, in order to enchant more weapons. And we'll keep doing that until we basically have enough chanting to make a goddamn wonderful set of armour. Um, once we've got our brilliant armour, we will use any extra cash we've got to get destruction training from Thoralda so that we can fire the biggest fireballs ever and make a beast. So thank you for listening. A uh, really short episode. I thought I'd just fill you in on my plan because I'll be doing a lot of editing in those videos, I think, so that it doesn't take us too much time out of the main quest line. Right. Look forward to uh, having you join Mittens again when we do get back on with it. Um, so in the meantime, take care, stay at home, watch Mittens. Bye!